swiftly while freight services play a critical role in the global economy the impact to the environment in terms of emissions is totally negative this sector is responsible for eight percent of global greenhouse gas emissions including emissions from ships planes trains and trucks a tired sector players want to change Sophia Ali reports Transport runs the world with companies and individuals moving everything from perishable goods and products to heavy equipment and raw materials. Climate change talks continue to top the world headlines. Carbon emission from long distance trucks cannot be ignored. At the core of global transportation freight services, which apparently contribute 11% of global greenhouse gas emissions, majorly driven by trucks and vans that are responsible for 65% of freight emissions, a trend sector players are working to reverse. We took a positive decision to, to support the rail, not only because it makes sense for, for our business, but also because it makes sense for our carbon footprint, not just with cargo movements within Kenya but across the region and obviously that resonates well with our customers as well because it lowers their carbon footprint so there's a knock-on effect of what we do also has a positive impact on the carbon footprint of our clients. Globally transport consumes 30 percent of energy produced presenting an ever-growing challenge of emission. Prioritizing of rail and cleaner fuel options such as LPG and biodiesel can reverse the emissions concern. Our warehouses, you know, 20 years ago, the only option you had was to use a diesel forklift. Today you can use LPG forklifts, but even further than that, you can go to an electric forklift. And as you went around our warehouses, I'm sure you saw that you've got no diesel, no diesel forklifts operating in the warehouses. We've gone to an LPG mix and, a, and an, an electric forklift mix. Even though freight volumes continue to grow due to increased global trade, energy efficiency adoptions by the sector is one of the surest ways to reduce global greenhouse emissions by 45% by 2030 and reach the net zero by 2050. Sophia Ali for KTN News. And now let's talk corruption.